time. So your original time was four minutes and then you just tested at three minutes, 24 seconds. So I'm gonna give you the tricks to the ones that you stalled on and that should help you a lot. So nine times nine, nine times eight, nine times seven, nine times six, nine times five, nine times... I remember, I remember the strategy. I remember when, when the, I think it was mm, make the the second number lower than add to make it, to make it to you how much you know. I know. It's okay. I'll explain it to you. So the first digit oh, is... Oh, now I get what I was doing wrong. I was making it 10, not 9. Ah. So we're going to do... Um, first digit is 1 less than the number that you're multiplying by 9. So for this one, 9 times 9. First digit is 8. 8 plus something equals 9. What is my something? 1. Mm -hmm. This one is, what am I multiplying by 9? 8. Something 1 less, 7 plus blank equals 9. 7 plus 2. Yep. This one is <clears throat> first digit, 6 plus six. something, 3. 3. 1 less is 5 plus something equals 9, 4. 54. Four. Yep. 9 times 5, 4 plus something equals 9, 5. 1 less than 4 is 3. 3 plus something equals 9, 36. What's 1 less than 3? 2. 2 plus something equals 9, 7, 27. And then these are the only ones you have left to do. So your time is going to go up like crazy if you just practice these this week. And these are a little bit tricky for everybody, so that's good. 6 times 8 is 48. 7 times 7 is our football team, 49. 6 times 6 is 36. And 8 times 7 is 56. The times four strategy is you take seven and you double it, and then you double it again. So seven doubled is 14, 14 doubled is 28. Eight doubled is 16, and then 16 doubled is like 16 plus 16, 32. Six doubled is 12, 12 doubled is, oh, 24. So, we have 6 times 8 is 48, 7 times 7 is 49, 6 times 6 is 36, 8 times 7 is 56, 7 times 4, we double 7 and we double it again, 28, we double 8 and we double it again, 32, we double 6, we double it again, 24. Any questions about that? No, not really. Okay. And then I'm just going to do a little quick video since you're working on it again. If you have 7, 1, 20, 80, and 3, and 11, and 4, 90, and 2, 40, and 40, and 3, how would we match these up? So you're first going to look for a fact family that would make sense. So, I know 7 times 7 is 49. That pops out at me because I know 7, 7, and 49 belong together. So, I'm going to see. 7 times 70, does that equal 490? Yes. So, these ones are done. And then I'm going to say, well, I know 3 times 4 is 12, and I have a 12 right here. So, let's see if that's true. That's true. And then I know 8 times 3 is 24, so let me see if that is true. Do you see how I did that? I kind of said, well, 8 times 3, and there's a 24 right here. 3 times 4, and there's a 12. 7 times 7, and there's a 49. So do you see how those kind of start to pop out at you once you know your fact families really well? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you some of those to do for right now. I'm going to stop.